All right, it's 7 a.m. and I am heading to one of our grocer customers to talk to them about some different products they might be interested in. And I'm heading down to a machine shop to take in these parts of the tilter so that I can hopefully get some new bearings and uh, replace or fix the axle on that tilter so it can run again. So uh, this might be an hour errand. Mark is putting some orders together and uh, he'll be getting ready to head out in the field as we um, get ready to turn over some beds. So my, if I, if I can get this uh, tilter fixed, then I'm, I don't want to turn those beds by hand. I know I'd love to make the video for you guys, but <laughs> I would much rather use the machine if I can and uh, you know I'll eventually make a video on it at some point. All right, I'm back from the machine shop. I love machine shops. They're they're super cool. I love that kind of stuff. Maybe if I wasn't a farmer I'd be a machinist. Anyways, I got they had the bearings. They had the exact bearings that I needed. So perfect. So we're back in business. I think I fixed it. Got the bearings in. Got it all bolted together. Now it's going to mount it on the uh, handles, and it's ready to roll. Okay, got her back together. So I'm just going to go out in my front yard and try it out. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ditch this bed of spring onions. I direct seeded this one earlier in the season. It's horrible germination, so I'm just gonna terminate it, just harvest it, sell it, and then I'm gonna test out the tilter on it. All right, whenever I harvest spring onions, I immediately just stand them upright in a uh, little bit of water Two reasons there. First is to get the field heat off. The second is to just soak them so that the, it softens up the dirt so they're easier to clean. So now I'm going to go try this tilter out. Okay, rock and roll, it's go time. Just about to take off, got my truck all loaded, and I just wanted to show you guys a little trick that I'm doing with my Earthway Seeder. So the only thing I use the Earthway Seeder for now is beets and spinach. So my trick with doing beets is I tape off every second hole on the, the beet plate. And when I plant spinach with it, I just use the whole plate. Uh, spinach, I plant five rows. Beets, I do four rows in a 30 inch bed and I tape off every second hole. So I'll show you what that looks like. I just use a temporary masking tape because I take it off when I use it for spinach. But I'm not planting any more spinach for the season. I'm only planting beets every three weeks. So I'll keep it on all season. Now we're good to go. I'm gonna be at this plot for probably at least a couple hours. Got to harvest a 50 foot bed of carrots and turn over five beds and then plant those five beds. Okay, well I'm here and the first thing I'm going to do is just do the easiest stuff first. I'm just gonna turn these four beds as one 50 foot bed and three 25 foot beds. I'm just gonna run the tilter through those and then plant them. Then, I'm going to pull off the tarp on these three.
Okay, so with the tarp off, it's pretty clean. I'm just kind of left with this really uh, dry, carbonous material. It's almost like uh, dried grass or straw. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with it. I'm raking it off. This is the first time I've tarped in mid high season like this. And this is really long arugula and mustard that was, going, that was about to go to seed. So I don't think it did go to seed. And if it did, it probably all germinated in that time anyway, so pretty sure I can just kind of pull this stuff out and turn these beds over. Okay, so look, looks like I have to stir a pull it out a little bit, but it's way easier to do it now than it would have been if this is a full bed. It's 4.30 and we're finishing for the day. Just came by to this plot to swing by and turn the water back on. We had two days of pretty heavy rain, so just gonna do that and we're good to go. So this plot looks good. I'll turn this bed over, I'll turn that bed over next week. And if I need more arugula, I'll harvest some from here tomorrow, which I might be because I got one chef who wants 80 pounds and I don't have that. <laughs> and just coming into the greenhouse here and I'm very delighted to see the work of Roger and Alain, my tomato masters. So it's looking like a very good tomato season. We're off to a strong start. I imagine we'll pick another 75, 80 pounds for Friday, which is fantastic because we already picked 45 earlier this week. So it's looking like we'll have about 100 and, what would that be? 110, 120 pounds of tomatoes for this week. So that's pretty good, pretty, pretty, pretty good. Okay guys, that is today, Wednesday. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe button right now. Like and share these videos with your friends. And if you want to see more in-depth information like this, check out my online course, ProfitableUrbanFarming.com, where you'll find 30 hours of video footage, detailed information about everything that I plant, how I do it, all the little nuances, as well as a growing online community on Facebook, which is uh, has been growing with the the information in the course and so there's a, a lot of good stuff in there. Check that out at ProfitableUrbanFarming.com and of course you can get my book at TheUrbanFarmer.co and if you'd like to make a donation to the show it's much appreciated, always welcome and thank you for those of you that do make donations. You can do that at TheUrbanFarmer.co support. Okay, see you tomorrow.